আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম মাহফুজুর রহমান লেকচারার মাইলস্টোন কলেজ ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ আইসিটি আই হোপ ইউ অল আর ফাইন অ্যান্ড সেফ এট ইউর হোম অ্যান্ড অবভিয়াসলি ইউ মেনটেইন সেফটি হাইজিন হোয়াট উই নো অ্যান্ড অলরেডি লার্ন ফ্রম ভেরিয়াস রিসোর্সেস অ্যান্ড অবভিয়াসলি ইউ ফলো দ্য গাইডলাইন্স অফ স্টাডি অ্যান্ড ইনস্ট্রাকশন হোয়াট উই অল give you to follow at our whatsapp group and our facebook group and all obviously you all time wants to maintain your study and your regular life's work but what can we do in this pandemic situation we have to maintain the safety security we have to stay at home and we have to maintain our study our other stuff also please at least say one time alhamdulillah to allah so that we can survive in this pandemic situation very well obviously it's allah's almightiness and everything he provide us to make us alive in this condition so today i'm going to talk you about a very interesting topic a relation you know the relation it's from chapter 6 of database not the relation we mean at our daily life and real life it's same or similar you can say but uh, obviously in our database chapter we have relations it's something very important to related to our uh, daily lives and also in database relationship also i hope this video will make you clear understand and get you a clear concept about database relationship and many aspects okay so please continue to my video i'm going to whiteboard okay so i'm back with my whiteboard so i already talked to you that today i'm going to discuss about a relationship between uh two or more tables in a database or in a data table we can say so let's dig it out so here we say i mentioned already relation relation means what relation means it's called a relationship a relationship means what when we relate something to each other how we going to relate something to each other then when we make a match a match between uh together with a some sort of a clear match in the two or more phases okay let's say relation between records of a table with a, another table of database is called database relationship that means database relationship means what it's a relation between one or more or two or more a data table a database relation is a logical relation between different table so when we make a relationship between a two or more data table then we must have to follow some condition so let's see what are the condition is first of all there must be a common field between a relation table that means in two or more relation ship with a table then we must have to be make a one common field in between two table that means one field must at least one field must have to be common among the two or more data table so now let's see the second condition there must be a one primary key field at least one of the relationship table that means at, at least we have to find out a one primary key in among the two or more database table so what is primary key primary key means we must have to find out a one special key this key is a unique it can be matched with any other or more data field we have in database now i will talk about how many relation we have in database so you already know how many types of relationship we have we have four types of relation we have like one to one one to many and many to one so 
we have four types of relationship so now discuss a one topic like one to one how do it's form basically if in a two database table we have then if we find a one key field match in between two table then we can call it one to one now see the one to one if there is a record of a table in a database related to a record in another table the relationship between the table is called one to one relationship now i will tell you a little example here you see a table this one this table is named teacher table in this teacher table we have two columns of information first column we will have teacher id that means in short i write here tid and the second column we will have teacher's name that means this one a teacher table that means teacher id and teacher name information we have in this first table and in the second table we have three columns of data like teacher id uh, this one tid and this one is cid that means course id and number three it's title of the course that means title that means we have three columns of information we have in table number two this table is named course table that is in short i write down here c table now i will show you how we're going to find out a match in between these two table you see this in this first table we have teacher id this one also we call a primary key because teacher id it's a unique thing it can be matched with other teachers id number it have, it must have to be unique it doesn't match with another one then this one you see the teacher id this one is common in the first table and the teacher id this one also a common among the second table this means this one this and this id it's a common that means i in a i already told you a condition the first condition is we must have to be a common field among these two table to find out a relationship so this is it already we find a common match and another thing the second point we have we must have to be one, a one primary key and you see this one teacher id this one is primary primary key this one is unique it can be matched with any other information you see this table we have two type of information that are just similar this one is teacher id this one is course id you see we it, it can be matched this one is 01 this one is c 01 it's not even matched if it is going to match then it will not be a primary key the basic attribute to be a form of a primary key is must have to be unique information it contains and it can detect a single entity in any database from a relationship okay now we're talking about a second part with one to many so i hope you already understand how we form one to one now i will talk about one to many that is if i have a multiple source of match with the two single data table with one entity single entity it can be matched with other tables multiple entry then we can call this relationship a one to many relationship now you see if a database contains a record of table related to multiple records of one or more data tables then we finally call it a relationship between one to many now i can make this concept very clear with a suitable example let's see here i put in a table this table is named supplier table and this table is it's an order table like a customer orders some products to a company and this company have several supplier to supply different different goods to their customers now i see uh, supplier id 001 002 003 mafus maru and masums these three suppliers they have they supply the goods to their respected customers and this one is the order table like supply id that means a single supplier how many orders he gets from a different different product from customers like you see supplier id number one mafus he gets one two three three products order from customer that means this one we can directly say it's one to many relationship this two table 
and this one maruf say uh, connection one and this one masum it have connection one so i can say an, another portion also in one to many calculation you have also you can find one to one also but you can't emphasize this one to one here you, you have to calculate the bigger one you have to calculate the bigger one to name the relationship between these two and if you gonna calculate just reverse or just opposite of a calculation between this order table and the supply table then you will find a relationship it's called many to one okay so i am come back with many to many relationship so in this relationship we have if we find a match between multiple table with a multiple record then we can call it many to many like a relationship between multiple records in a table with other records in a table it's called a relationship is many to many that means multiple tables is related to to form a relationships between among the tables with multiple records like this you see this one order table it's have two columns of information and this one product table this one have also two columns of relationship so these two tables are connected with the third numbers of table this table in a relationships models name we can call it a junction table that means it's concave that these two tables in relationships with a one single table that's why this table is called junction table okay so now you see this order id it's also belong in this table this product id also belongs in this table this product name also belongs in this table and this customer names also belong in this table so this table gives you a proper information regarding a sales table that means which products is going to be sales to which customer like you see order id this month was placed an order like 001 his product id is 3001 his product's name is computer so he when he purchased a computer then this different different information will be come out from different different table to find to give you a proper information to this final table so this is what we have in relationship between these multiple tables is called many to many relationship i hope you understand my today's videos and lectures if you have any confusion or question please do it at our whatsapp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section again and again i want to tell you a simple thing please stay at home for your and your family safety allah hafiz this is mafuz rahman from milestone college ict department